Hello everyone and welcome to today's session where we'll be talking about clipping and buffering in ArcGIS Pro. So you'll realize I've already added the data to my ArcGIS Pro and if you do not know how to add vector data to ArcGIS, we, I already have a video on that so you can actually check that in my videos. All right. So once you've added the data of what you want to clip, uh, the data that I've added here is the country Kenya, I've added the schools in Kenya and the roads in Kenya, all right? So we want to clip data of one county, we are going to clip the data of Nairobi County, we are going to clip the schools in Nairobi and the roads in Nairobi County. So what do we do first? We get the Nairobi layer. All right, the Nairobi County layer. So that's really simple. So what you'll what you'll what you'll do first is to come and actually observe your attribute table to see where the county name is. And you can see here this column called county is what has the county name. All right. So you can come to select by attribute and simply come to the new expression, add all right, say I want the county Nairobi. As you type in, you realize it suggests for you and you can actually go ahead and run to actually select your county of preference or rather layer. So you realize this is uh, Nairobi county that has been selected and to actually now export it as a feature class into its own independent layer. Uh, you just simply come to um, data, export features, and just type Nairobi County. Remember, no spaces uh, because you cannot have your features having uh, spaces in their names in the geodatabase, right? So we now have our Nairobi County layer, and let's just unselect everything else so that you see Nairobi County layer. Let's zoom to layer. So this is our Nairobi County layer. As a matter of fact, let's just unselect everything else. So you can see that this is the layer we want to have our features in, all right? And we have schools right there. You can see that they exceed Nairobi because they are schools of the whole country, Kenya. And you can see also that the roads also exceed this um, feature. All right, they exceed this feature layer uh, uh, as well. And we want to clip these features using the Nairobi um, layer, all right? So you simply come to analysis and then you come to tools and then you can just type in very simply, just type in clip, all right? The first tool that comes here is the clip analysis tools. So you click on it click on clip and then the input feature refers to the um, features that we want to clip. So we are going to start with schools, all right? We want to clip schools. And which features do we want to clip the schools in? We want to clip the schools in Nairobi County, all right? So we are clipping these schools using the layer Nairobi County, all right? So you can, you can come here and name and give it a name and be very observant from where I'm selecting it. I'm selecting after the uh, forward slash, right? The back, uh, back slash. Uh, so I'll just come here and say, this is Nairobi schools. And remember, no spaces, all right? So this is Nairobi schools and I say run. So that is, uh, that is how simple it is to clip. So when I unselect the schools of Kenya, you realize that I remain with the schools in the Nairobi County uh, layer. So very quickly, let's also come to roads and say, I also want the roads in Nairobi. And I'll just come and rename here and say, these are the Nairobi roads, all right? And then I click run. And all of a sudden, we have our roads in Nairobi, right? So come here and unselect the roads in Kenya. And now you have 
the layer of Nairobi and you have the roads in Nairobi and you have the schools in Nairobi. These are no longer useful to us, so you can just remove them uh, from your map, all right? You can just say remove, remove, and now you can also remove the counties. We don't need it. And that is how you clip um, your features to a certain layer. The second thing I'd like to look at is buffering, all right? And let's look at let's look at two problems. The first problem is, uh, for instance, you asked uh, which schools are accessible. Uh, you're working uh, in the in the government, and the government asks you which schools are accessible. And the the parameters they are using for accessibility is 500 meters from the roads. So which schools are 500 meters from the roads? All right. So you simply come and buffer. Uh, 500 meters from uh, from the roads and you get the schools in that buffer so let's just do that practically so you come uh, you come again back to tools you click tools all right you, under analysis you just click tools and then you come here and the way you just typed clip you can just type buffer all right you see buffer analysis tools appearing there you just click on it and once you click on it it brings you uh this uh this user interface all right and you can come here and say i want uh to buffer a distance of 500 uh, meters all right on all the roads i'd like to see uh how far that is all right so you can come and and run that and um, it may take a while all right but you now see your buffer. You realize there are some schools appearing inside the buffer. There are some appearing outside. So let's select those. Uh, let's select these schools that are inside the buffer. All right. In order to do that, you can simply come and select by location. All right. So you can come and select by location and say, I'd like to actually select by using the relationship of intersect and then you come and select uh, the schools, all right, and then say the I want the schools in this buffer, all right. And once you run it, you'll realize it selects the schools inside the buffer. So let's just um, let's unhighlight the roads, uh, the roads, and maybe the let's let's leave alone so you can you realize there are some schools that are selected while uh, the others that are not so you'll realize that the schools in the buffer are selected and those are the schools that are actually um, accessible all right so that i hope you've learned how to uh, do the buffer all right and uh, that's a simple example that i've used you can actually practice with more uh, examples for instance you can actually assume that uh, you've been told uh, a school okay nightclubs cannot be constructed 700 meters from schools so in that case you'll simply do a buffer of 700 meters uh, to the school's layer right so finally let let me look at symbology someone raised in the comments uh, in, in my previous video uh, on how to go about symbology and so let me just simply go through uh, symbology and how you can symbolize these layers all right so let's clear any selection and uh, let's remove the buffer for now so let's come to Nairobi schools and if you want to symbolize Nairobi schools you simply come to the symbol here all right look at where my cursor is and you'll you'll see a sign click to modify symbol right click on it and this will come right here this uh, pen will come right here and simply come to all styles all right in most cases it's always uh, project style so come here and change it to all style uh, and then come here and simply type school and click enter you'll realize a couple of icons for uh, the school come and then you can come and depending with whichever feature you want to use you can actually come and click for instance on that you can actually change the size uh, as you want under 
properties all right you can come to size and actually reduce this size here uh, all right and then you can come and apply you can also change the color of your symbology right to for instance red and you can come here and apply so that is how simple it is uh, to symbolize for instance uh, for roads you can you can again come to uh, the symbol here click on it and simply come to the gallery and make sure it's on all styles and already i have some suggestions here highway major road minor road ramp but you can just type in road all right so for my case let's choose highway and if you want to change the size again you can come and change the size here all right and if you want to change the color you can actually come and change the color to whichever color you'd like so that's how you symbolize another way to symbolize is to come to the appearance tab go to symbology and you can symbolize uh, in a couple of ways all right we'll probably discuss this in more detail in another session but i hope you are now able to actually symbolize if you come here and click symbol single symbol it will bring you back to where we were all right and if you click on this it will bring you back to properties and you can still go back to gallery and search all right and if you click on um, unique values you can come and actually give uh, several uh, values let's do that uh, for for instance for um, this for for roads i'm not sure about my um let's see if type has more than one so yeah you can see that if i if i do select that it brings uh, several uh, different types but this i will look at in another session all right for now let's just um let's just use uh, one one symbol all right and uh, let's use the uh, highway symbol so i hope uh, i've answered the question on symbology and in the next session uh, we'll be looking at other vector functions all right and we'll be focusing on merging and dissolving so i hope to see you next week for that session uh, like share this video and be sure to subscribe thank you so much and see you in the next video